good morning students today i am going to discuss about some important problems in states of matter first i will tell the some important formula boyle's law p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 charles law v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 galusak's law p1 by t1 equal to p2 by t2 avogadro's law n1 by v1 equal to n2 by v2 ideal gas equation pv equal to nrt combined gas equation p1 v1 by t1 equal to p2 v2 by tt next relation between density and molar mass density equal to pm by rt and relation between partial pressure and molar volume sorry mole fraction partial pressure equal to mole fraction into total pressure and here we are using universal gas constant units here pv equal to nrt and r equal to pv by nt based on the units here we have different units for r r equal to 0.0821 liter atmosphere mole inverse kelvin inverse 0.0831 liter bar mole inverse kelvin inverse 8.314 joule mole inverse kelvin inverse 1.987 calorie mole inverse and kelvin inverse here i have given some units relations now i will discuss some important problems a balloon is filled with hydrogen at room temperature it will burst if pressure is exceeds 0.2 bars if at one bar pressure the gas occupies 2.27 liter volume up to what volume can be the balloon be expanded we are doing we are solving this problem based on boyle's law p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 you can observe here here p1 given one bar and v1 given 2.27 liters and p2 given 0.2 bars 0.2 bars so we know all the terms except v2 except v2 so if you substitute these three values in this formula we will get v2 and next on a ship sailing if a first peak ocean where temperature is 23.4 degrees celsius a balloon is filled with 2 liters of air what will be the volume of balloon when ship reaches indian ocean where the temperature is 26.1 degree celsius here we are using formula charles law v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 here you can observe here here v1 is the 2 liters and t1 is the 23.4 degree celsius but we should take in kelvins that is 293.4 kelvins and t2 given 26.1 nothing but 299 kelvins and here same as boyle's law here we know every term except v2 so if you substitute these three terms we can get the v2 value next a gas cylinder container cooking gas can withstand a pressure of 14.9 atmospheres pressure inside the cylinder is 12 atmosphere at 27 degrees celsius due to sudden fire in the building temperature starts rising at what temperature will be the cylinder explode we are doing this formula based on galusak's law p1 by t1 equal to p2 by t2 here you can observe p1 given 12 atmospheres and t1 27 degrees celsius nothing but 300 kelvins and p2 is 14.9 atmospheres we have to find out t2 so we know three terms this fourth term we have to find out okay if you substitute these three values here you will get 372.5 kelvins and 5 moles of a gas a occupies volume 112 liters then calculate the volume of 2 moles of gas at same temperature and pressure here avogadro's law we are using n1 by v1 equal to n2 by v2 here you can observe n1 given 5 moles and v1 given 112 liters and n2 given 2 
so we know three values fourth value we have to find out that is v2 equal to 48.44.8 liters and next problem calculate the pressure of two moles of gas in a 5 liter vessel at room temperature here we are using formula ideal gas equation pv equal to nrt here we know the n value 2 moles t value 298 kelvins v 5 liters and based on the vtn we are writing r value 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere mole inverse kelvin inverse so we know in this formula we know every for value except p so if you substitute all the values we will get 9.78 atmospheres so ideal gas equation pv equal to nrt and next 1 liter of a gas at minus 73 minus 73 degree celsius and at 2 atmosphere pressure is heated to 127 degree celsius and pressure is reduced to 0 0.5 atmospheres then what will be the final volume see initially volume means v1 1 liter temperature minus 73 degree celsius and p1 is 2 atmospheres and final temperature 127 degree celsius and pressure is 0 0.5 atmospheres so here we have to calculate final volume so we are using combined gas formula equation p1 v1 by t1 equal to p2 v2 by t2 see here in these six terms we know all the five terms except v2 except v2 we know all the terms if you substitute all the terms we can get the v2 that is the answer 8 liters next density of a gas is 2.7 gram per liter at 127 degree celsius and 1 atmosphere calculate the molecular weight of gas see here we are using formula relation between density and molar mass density equal to pm by rt here what is the density given 2.5 gram per liter and what is the pressure 1 atmosphere what is the r value 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere mole inverse kelvin inverse and then temperature 127 degree celsius okay if you substitute all the value drtp we will get the molar mass of the gas so d equal to pm by rt and last problem a neon oxygen mixture contains 70.6 grams of oxygen 167.5 grams of neon pressure of the mixture of the gas in the cylinder is 25 bars then what is the partial pressure of oxygen and neon partial pressures so we know that partial pressure relation between partial pressure and mole fraction partial pressure equal to mole fraction into total pressure for example partial pressure of oxygen equal to mole fraction of oxygen into total pressure and mole fraction we know that it is the ratio between number of moles by total number of moles number of moles by total number of moles and here if you want mole fraction of one component then that is equal to one minus other component mole fraction and here you see one by one let us know first n number of moles equal to mass by molar mass mass given 70.6 grams molar mass of oxygen is 32 you will get 2.2 moles and even neon also mass by molar mass of neon mass, molar mass is 20 mass is given 160.7 167.5 grams you will get these moles and at last mole fraction equal to number of moles by total number of moles here we calculated number of moles if you substitute this number of moles we will get the mole fraction and at last mole fraction equal to 1 minus mole fraction of oxygen here if you substitute this mole fraction of oxygen we will get the mole fraction of neon and partial pressure of oxygen equal to mole fraction of oxygen into total pressure what is the mole fraction we got here here 0 0.21 and what is the total pressure is given in starting in the data 25 bars so if you substitute these two we will get 5.25 bars total pressure is the 25 from this oxygen is the 5.25 so remaining pressure obviously 19.75 okay thank you all the best